get very strange dreams like i see snakes i see uh, a doll and uh, it is nailing on the head the blood is flowing oozing out and uh, i see lemons and uh, i see some skulls namaskar this is subin commander santosh sharma you might have heard about past life regression which is called plr many people come to me asking for plr when i ask them why do you want to do plr they say that i'm curious to do plr you see the plr the past life regression is not a joke like it is not a joke to open your heart and do some surgery similarly past life regression should not be done just out of curiosity if there is a strong desire from you and there are certain things happening in your life which is causing a lot of concern in you and you are not able to understand why these things are happening in your life then perhaps you may consider plr past life regression can ferret out many things about your life because this life we have the past impressions of the past life and many strong impressions of the past life can influence our present days thinking present lives way of thinking and many times we might wonder why the things are happening the way they are happening now and we find no answers in this video which i am going to see it is a live case of a girl who had many many problems and issues she used to have many scary dreams and after the dreams her skin color used to change and the dermatologist doctors were not able to understand this girl when she came to me she showed me the marks the dark marks on the skin and she narrated to me everything about the issues we see is suffering from because i was convinced that she requests help i took her to the past life this video may look little scary but nothing to get scared of it's just a video i am making this video only to make you understand how the past life regression is done what are the benefits of past life regression because when you go to the past life and relive your past life then it helps you to understand that whatever happened in the past life was because the prakriti or the nature was playing through you the bhagavad gita krishna says that you do nothing it is the nature which plays through you because you think that you are doing you become part of the karma bandhana and when you become the become the part of the karma bandhana you have to undergo the rewards or punishment in the next birth so when you go to the past life and you relive those moments in the past life again and understand that the things which happened in the past life was because of the nature playing through you that realization breaks you free from the karma of the past life this is the basic funda of past life regression and that is the basic purpose of past life regression so past life regression is not a joke it is not for entertainment it is for deep karmic release releasing you from the karma to the past life by making you realize that you were not a party to it anything or everything which happened in the past life was because nature was playing through you with a pre design pre planned way and because you thought that you are doing all these things you became part of the karma by realizing that it was an illusion you come out of the karma bandhana this is the purpose of past life regression virechana this method was used extensively by buddha and mahavir jain buddha used to insist that his disciples should 
to pass the abbreviation so that they understand the fallacy, they understand the foolishness of getting birth again and again and going through the cycles of birth and death. This used to become the foundation for liberation of the soul, nirvana, enlightenment and freedom. So I invite you to watch this video to understand what I am trying to tell you now. I get very strange dreams like I see snakes, I see uh, a doll and uh, it is nailing on the head, the blood is flowing, oozing out and uh, I see lemons and uh, I see some skulls. I see strange uh, tri tribal people uh, calling me and um, few of them threaten me and, uh, and uh, an old lady I see always, uh, she is my relative who always threats me and, uh, and also my uh, brother-in-law, he also comes. And he also challenges me that how I will get married. And a uh, lot of changes in my body suddenly happens. Like my skin color changes, my hands and legs turn black, and my face becomes very big. And my eyes become like Chinese eyes. And uh, the whole body I get patches. And uh, I consulted a skin specialist when I got patches. He, he changed his medicines thrice, but uh, none of his um, medicine, his ointment or his pills has worked on me. And uh, he told me that they will vanish on their own. He took my video also because uh, he couldn't cure me. And uh, he recorded my case. And uh, when I asked for the reason, he couldn't tell me. Uh, because the patches are not on my uh, outer skin, they are from inside and he couldn't understand how come they came out and he analyzed a lot, diagnosed a lot, he couldn't find the reason finally. Do this process, so the process I will be touching your hand yeah. and here okay. and here, and this flat your hand. Okay, and this close your eyes. And take three deep breaths. Breathe in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. While breathing in, breathe in all positivity, and while breathing out, exhale all the negativity from your system, body and mind, from each and every cell and DNA of your body. Exhale out all negativity and toxicity. Stored inside you for the last 15 years. And silently say, relax to yourself and come back to the moment. I'll count you down from 5 to 0. 0 is the number for the purpose of hypnosis with your permission. We will go to a deep state of relaxation, a deep sleep like it happened this week. Whenever I say zero to you for the purpose of hypnosis, with your permission, you will go to a deeper sleep, a million times deeper than this. Quickly and count. Five. Keep going down. Four. Bring the beam down to yourself. Three, two, laying very, very deep. One and zero. Go deep down to your secret and secret place. Also. With each breath, you're going down deeper and deeper. Your whole self. Any sound you hear in the background, 
helps you to go deeper and deeper into yourself. Each breath you take, each breath is taking you deeper and deeper. The sound which you hear on the road, the sound of the car or a siren or a horn or my voice, all they are helping you to go deep, very, very deep. Keep focusing on your breath as you see the breath becoming slow and deep and deep. Your whole body is getting relaxed. Mind is becoming peace and calm. And you're going down to your very, very deeper level. It's a thousand times deeper than the last session. You're doing extremely good session. Continue going deep and deep. All the background noise is helping you to go deeper and deeper and deeper. And you are able to hear to my voice and not my voice. I now want you to open your eyes slowly. When I say one to you, keep your eyes open. And when I say two to you, close your eyes. Two. One. 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 One. Two. One. Two. Two. Two, one, two, two, one, two, and you stay. Leave sleep. Leave sleep. Now focus on eyelids first. And with each breath, start breathing out all your stress, all the tenses. Through your closed eyelids. And your eyelids will naturally begin to feel very, very limp. Absolutely free from all tension and very heavy. Only when you feel that you have successfully let go of all the stress, all tension, and then your eyelids feel limp and heavy to you. Nod your head and let me know. Take your time. Lips are shut as if like blue. The more you try to open the eyes, more difficult it becomes to open the eyes. Harder you try, harder it becomes difficult. Make yourself believe that your eyes are still shut and you cannot open them. And the harder you try, the more difficult it becomes. Deep sleep. Deep sleep. Deep sleep. So as many your eyes are closed. And you are going to start going deeper and deeper. With each and every breath you keep going deeper and deeper. I am taking you down to a position that you know, is very very safe in the mind and you keep going deeper and deeper till I feel you have reached the most receptive state in which you can work on the condition. Keep going deeper with each and other breath. And so with each and every breath you take, give yourself permission to go deeper and deeper. Your physical body is relaxed and your mind will be very, very calm. 
Swans knee deep as you go, the more you relax, and the more you relax, deeper you go. Deeper you go, you relax more. You relax more, deeper you go. Now with your eyes comfortably closed, focus your attention on the toes of both your feet. Let this concentration move from the toes into the heels, into the ankles, and slowly into your calves of your legs. And from your toes to your knees, feel a wave of relaxation. Feel this wave of relaxation. Now moving up through your thighs, your hips, and into your stomach muscles. Each and every muscle of the stomach can relax. The relaxation now moves out to your solar plexus, above the mammillary, below the chest. Now, at the chest is there. The whole chest is relaxed. From the chest is there. Allow this relaxation waves to move into your shoulders and slowly moves down to your arms, your hands and fingers. Feel your neck muscles relaxing. Back of the neck and the front of the neck and the sides. Allow this to move slowly into your cheeks, your lips. The nose, the jaws, the teeth, the tongue, your eyeballs, your eyes, your eyebrows, and the forehead, and put the yellows, and the hair, and the scarf over the head, and the back of the head, coming down slowly to the back of the neck, up the center, upper back area, middle back area, going down to lower back area, and the hips. It goes down to your knees and calf and juice, feet and the toes, and the whole body is relaxed. Complete relaxed sense. And your mind is absolutely at peace to come. Now, as I count down from 5 to 0, each count prepares you to enter the hypnotic state to sleep now more deeply at 0. Zero being the number for the purpose of hypnosis. When I say zero to you, now or in future. Quickly and calmly go to a deep sleep, million times deeper than this, maybe. Quickly and calmly. Five, four, three, One and zero. And go deep sleep. Deep sleep. With each and every breath, keep going down. Keep going deeper with each and every breath. Deep into your own quiet space. For the next few moments, you will not listen to my voice once again. The absence of my voice coupled with other sounds in the background to help you to go deeper and deeper. Keep going down deeper. Each and every breath keep going down deeper and deeper. You're going down deep into your own secret and secret place. Where there is no influence, there is no anxiety, no fear, no stress. And no one to interfere in your life. 
going to guide you through a suggestive process, Swashini. If any point you feel, see or sense anything different from what I am suggesting, please feel very comfortable and safe to speak to me. And verbalize what is that you are sensing. Are you sensing anything? You can speak to me. Swasni, imagine yourself or feel or pretend that you are standing on the top of a staircase with 20 steps down. And there are two railings, safe railings on both the sides, and the area is properly safe and set down. If you can visualize or feel or pretend that you are on the top of the staircase, that's not a head. Okay. Starting with the left foot, Swasni. When I say 20, starting on the left foot, slowly you can descend down the staircase and it will take you to a very good safe place of your own where you will be absolutely safe. Starting with 20, your left foot forward, 19, start descending down. 18, and 17. One 
zero. The number step is sun. The number step is sun is myself. Now you gotta feel your light body. The light body. Like cotton wool floating in the air, drifting I in time and space. If you enjoy this light body, which is like cotton wool, cotton wool and floating in the air, drifting away in time and space, just nod your head. Good. Very nice. Now just turn away from the staircase, Swasani, and you will see a corridor in front of you with a door at the end. Now feel yourself walking down this corridor. Open the door, but don't open the door. When you feel you have the door, just nod your head. Now as I count to down from 5 to 0, following my instruction, you open this door and step outside. At 5, put your hands on the door now, Swazani. At 4, turn the door now all the way. At 3, push the door halfway open. Now at 2, push the door all the way open. And at one, step outside. And at zero, let the door close behind you. And step outside. You find yourself in a beautiful bar. The weather is nice. The sunshine. And a soft, gentle breeze. It's a face. Just enjoy this beautiful garden so much. This is the garden that your mind creates. It knows it very well. Since it has been here hundreds of times before. Enjoy your beautiful garden. Look at the flowers, the trees, the green grass under your feet, the dew, the chipping birds in the background, and the bushes. And you hear how waterfall in the background. Taking all the sensations, the sights, the smells of the flower, and all the sounds. Just enjoy your beautiful garden. Are you comfortable, Swasi? Can you describe the garden to me? You can speak to me now. How does the garden feel? What do you see? Full of flowers. Full of flowers. Butterflies. Butterflies. Bees. Bees. Honeybees. Honeybees. Good. Small birds. Small birds. Okay. What else do you see? Water. Water. Feel the breeze on the face. Beautiful. Feels nice. Good. Now in your beautiful garden, it's your garden. Put your mind as it is. In your beautiful garden, just look at a very comfortable, vacant patch of green grass 
which you can lie down, accept and see the relaxed manner. As you are lying down right now, once you find such a path, just go to it. So, so as to just go and lie down on this patch on your back in a very relaxed fashion so that you can see the sky over Can you see the sky? Now imagine or visualize a beautiful white cloud just drifting in the air over you. Now as I count down from 3 to 0, with every count, this beautiful white fluffy cloud will keep coming down lower and lower with every breath. And at 0 is going to land right next to you. The soft, gentle cloud. So just imagine the cloud starting to come down towards you. So I'm saying at three. Look at the cloud. It's getting bigger and bigger, like a huge cotton ball drifting down at two. Very close to now, whatever, wherever you are, at one. And it's zero, landing right next to you, the salt. You can feel the cloud next to you, first. Good. I want you now to mentally board this cloud. Mentally board this cloud. And lie down on it exactly the same, relaxed and comfortable manner. As you are lying down, right now, And when you have done that, you start to help. Now, so as As you count off from 1 to 3, the clouds will rise, and the 3 is going to be right back up to the sky from where it drifted down. Now, at 1. Feel the cloud in the ground with a small jerk. As the ground below the cloud becomes smaller and smaller and smaller, and the cloud rises higher and higher. At two, your body becomes lighter and lighter. Now at three, the cloud is right back in the sky. Right back in the sky, slowly drifting, making you feel very, very, very light. Very, very, very comfortable. Just enjoy this trip. down from 3 to 0, this cloud is going to land in another place, another time, another, another life, a life your mind finds most appropriate to view today, a life your mind finds most appropriate for you to view today. Or a life which is the point of entry with regard to your present issue. So that's name. When you are in this other place and the time and the life, I want you to slowly look around. 
see what you can hear, what you can feel, what you can smell anything. Notice where you are, notice what kind of clothes you are wearing, notice whether you are wearing anything on your feet. The clouds now gently moving down towards the ground and tree. The ground below the cloud becoming bigger and bigger. As the body starts becoming heavier and heavier. Now it too becoming heavier and heavier. The ground is coming closer and closer. The ground now appearing very close to the cloud at 1 and at 0. The cloud landing on the ground is soft, gentle. Third. Now, so as the mental he jump off this cloud, land on the ground and take your time. Take your time. Slowly look around. See what you can, feel what you can, notice where you are, smell everything, and notice what kind of clothes you are wearing, and also notice whether you are wearing anything on your feet. Whenever you are ready, tell me verbally. If you are wearing anything on the feet, you can speak to me now. You are not wearing anything on your feet. Okay. What kind of clothes are you wearing now? Wearing a white dress. Can you describe the dress to me? Dhoti kai. Okay. With a white cloth on top. A white top. With a white top. You are a boy or a girl? Girl. You are a girl. You are wearing something down, dhoti type, and you are wearing a white skirt kind of thing, right? Top. Not skirt, it is. It is a dhoti. Yeah, a dhoti. Yeah. And top is a top what you wear, jeans, something. Some white color top, right? What do you feel is the color of the skin? Very fair. Very fair. Very nice. And do you feel you are inside the body or outside the body? What do you feel? You are inside the body or outside the body? Now are you able to look at yourself? Or you are looking around? Or you can see from a distance yourself standing there? You can see yourself means you are standing out, looking from outside. How old do you feel you are? 16. You are 16. Okay. And do you feel good about yourself? Are you happy? You told me that you are 16 years old, you are a girl, your skin is fair and you are wearing a dhoti kind of down at the top of the white top. What kind of hair do you have? Okay. You have long hair, short hair? Long. How is your nose? Nice. Nice. Good. You look beautiful. Do you remember your name? Do you know your name? What's your name? What's your name? Yaksha. Yaksha. Yaksha is your name. 
very nice. Now, do you know the place? Do you know the place? Do you know the name of the place? What the place? Your name is Yaksha. You are 16 years old. Fair skinned, long hair. Look beautiful. Wearing nothing under your feet, right? Now, which is the place? I don't know. Which is the year? Not the year also? Not the place also? Is a village, town? Is a riverside? Okay. Okay, now when I count from three, from three down to zero, at zero you will go back in time to any significant event that your mind picks up. And you will be able to clearly describe what you are seeing and what you are feeling. When I count you down from three down to zero, you go back in time to any significant event that the mind picks up when you are a child and you are able to clearly describe what you are seeing and what you are feeling or any event which the subconscious mind thinks appropriate to show you now. 3, 2, 1 and 0. Tell me, what do you see? What do you see? You are working on the fields, okay? Talking to yourself, what are you talking to yourself? Okay, is nobody with you? Okay. Are you able to remember your home? Your father, mother? Nobody? Brothers, sisters? You are alone? Okay. So what do you see around? Is you can see see any people anywhere? No. You're just alone and walking on the field. It is daytime? Yes. yes. Afternoon. Okay, you have eaten something? Are you hungry? No. No, you are not thirsty? And do you feel safe walking in the field alone? I feel someone What do you feel? Someone is with Someone is with you. But you don't know who is the person. Okay. What's the age now? How old are you? Five years. Five years old girl. Yeah. Your name is Yaksha. Now five years old girl walking on the field. What are you wearing? Nikka. You are wearing a nikkar. Okay. Do you know the color of the nikkar? No. Only nikkar. Upper body part nothing. Shirt and nikkar. And walking on the field. This afternoon. Yaksha. Not able to remember father's name, mother's name, brother, sister, no memory. Okay. Now count to 3 to 0. Go back further down to age. Which your subconscious mind feels appropriate to show you. 3, 2, 1, 0. And tell me, how old are you now? How old are you now? What's your age? You don't know? Okay, now I'll count you up from 1 to 3 and you will move ahead in time. Your subconscious mind will take you to your time when? One, two, and 3. Move ahead and tell me how are you? What's the age now? Okay, we request subconscious mind to take an appropriate stage in that lifetime. Which the subconscious mind feels appropriate to show you. One, two, and three. Move. Tell me now. What do you see here? You see a road. Okay. Is a mud road? What kind of road? It's a black road. Do you see any vehicles? No. It's black, no traffic. And how old are you? What's the age? 
you're wearing a frog. And what do you feel? What's the age? 16 years. 16 years? 3 years. 3 years. Then we have moved back in time. Very nice. So what's happening in 3 years? Yaksha, 3 years old, wearing a frog. What's she doing? She has a home. Where is she? In the road. Okay. Does she know where her home is? Does she want to go back home? Going to shop. Going to shop. Okay. She wants to buy something? Okay. Now what's happening? Somebody. Somebody. Somebody pinching you. Okay? Somebody pinching you. Then what happens? What do you feel? Say again. Looking at her. Okay. You are looking at Yaksha who is 3 years old. You are looking at somebody who is pinching you. Now as I count from 1 to 3, so as only at 3 you will go forward in time to the last day of your life in that lifetime. You will be able to see the last day of your life just before you die. 1, 2, 3 and now. Last day of your life just before you die. What do you see? Writing a letter. How old are you? You are 19 years old. Okay? Now what letter is arriving to whom? Writing to your mother. Okay? Tell me. What are writing to letter? You are committing suicide. Okay? The reason you are writing there? What reason you are writing there? Don't remember? Don't remember. Okay? Now, you are in the last phase of life. What's happening now? Last moment of life, moment of life. What's happening now? Yaksha? What's happening now? You don't know? You told the writing letter to your mother. That you are committing suicide. Now, the suicide is over. Now, what's happening? Crying. You are crying. Okay? Crying. You are crying. Okay? You are 19 years old. Yeah. And you are crying. Okay? Now, what's happening? Tell me what's happening. You slept? Then what Now I am taking you to the exactly last moment before your death in that lifetime. One, two and three. Now we are out of the body now. Out. Out. Out of the excess body. We are out of the body and then down upon the excess body. What do you see now? What are you saying now? You are out of the body. You are out of the body now. What do you see? You see yourself in what condition? You're sleeping. And then what's happening? You can see the body down. How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel now looking at your body on the top? Scared. Scared. Why? What is scared? Say again. 
And going up, look up, you can see a bright white light on the top of your head. And you are drifting up and merging into this white light. You are in the consciousness of the higher self now where there is no pain, no grief, no emotion. And the higher self is all the knowledge of all the lives, past, present and future. From the higher self, now find out. Ask the higher self. What was the main lesson of that life? What lesson did you learn in that life? Pain. To know what is pain. That was the lesson learned. Okay. Now ask the higher self. The current issue which is happening in your present life. This life. Is it being influenced by the impressions of the unhealed past life? Ask the higher self, the problem which you are facing in this life, so as, is it due to the influence, the impressions of the unhealed past life because you committed a suicide? What is the answer from the higher self? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Now ask the higher self, is it appropriate to heal this issue now? Very nice. So how many lives do we need to heal this appropriately this issue? Ask the higher self, how many lives do we need to heal to appropriately resolve this issue? Can we resolve this issue in this lifetime? Ask the higher self. Is it appropriate to heal at this lifetime now? Yes. Very good. Now go back to your past life in Yaksha. And you have just committed suicide, you have died, and your body was down and you are floating up and looking down at the body. Go back to the time now. Can you see your body down? When I count down from 10 to 0, with every count, the conscious mind and the personality of Sonasana will keep going down, deeper and deeper and will be extremely deep down and zero. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and zero. Now as I count up from 1 to 0, I request the subconscious mind of Suhasana to keep coming off higher and higher and to be in the absolute control of Suhasana's faculties at 10. The subconscious mind of Suhasana is coming up. Further up with 1. I up with two, further up with three, higher up with four, further up with five, and six, gaining more and more control at seven and eight, further up at nine, and control of source and his faculties at ten. Do I have the permission to speak to Suhas and his subconscious mind now? I 
I understand that you are very powerful and you have all the knowledge of Suhasana's life. I am here because Suhasana needs your help. And you can help me help Suhasana. Will you help me to help Suhasana? It is the right time to solve the problem which is facing now in the life. Are there any vows or oaths or curse or only the suicide is it? Is the suicide cause karma? Is there any energy, external energy in the solar science system? Can you please tell me, is there any external energy in the solar science system? How many energy are there? Is it one? If it's one, you can raise Swarasana's right index finger. Or not in the head. Is it one energy or more than one energy? If more than one energy is present, now what I have to do with the most active energy or entity first. Will you help me to help Swahasana to deal with this entity first, the most active energy or the entity first. So thank you for all the help you have provided. I will back to you when I need. Thank you very much. Now the count is down from 5 to 0. With every more count, the subconscious mind of Suhasanis will keep going down lower and lower. And will be absolutely relaxed and deeper down at 0. So the subconscious mind of Suhasana is going down at 5. Going deeper down at 4. Very deep at three, two, one, and totally deep down at zero. Now, as I count down from ten to zero. May the subconscious mind, the personality of Suhasana, step back with the big count. Step back with the big count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. Now when I count 1 to 0, I request the spirit to come forward, the most active spirit to come forward 
and take charge at 10. Now the speed coming up with 1, further up with 2, and 3 higher up, 4. The speed is coming up 5. Coming up six. That's coming up seven and eight and nine and take charge now at ten. That's first thing we talk to. Hear me, I am Santosh I am your friend. I am not here to hurt you. I am not here to hurt you. I do not want to throw you out. I have just found out that you are there. And I know that you don't have any friends. And I know how lonely it can be. I am not here to send you anywhere. I am here only to talk to you. My name is Atul Sharma. And I need a name to address you. So that you can be friends. Would you like to tell me your name? I am requesting. The subconscious mind to step back. I am requesting the spirit and the entity or the energy in Swasana's body to come. So keep counting from one to ten. You should come up and take charge of Swasana's body to talk to you. I request the spirit or the energy the entity which is there in the body to come to comfort one and take charge at all from all our faculties so that he or she can come into two. Now spirit coming up with one, further up with two and three higher up, coming out four, coming out five. Coming out 6, further out 7, 8, 9, and in charge of 10. I am not here to hurt you, I am your friend. I don't want to throw you out. I have just found out that you are there and know that you don't have any friends. I know how it really feels to be alone. Or you may be with others inside her body, so as in his body. I am not able to send you anywhere. I just want to talk to you. My name is Santosha. My name is Santosha. I need your name to address you. And you can be friends. Do you like to tell me your name now? You don't have to scare me. I am not here to trouble you. I am not here to throw you out. I just want to be friendly. Will you tell me your name now? You see, you must be feeling trapped in the body sometimes. Either you come knowingly or somebody has sent you. We don't know. You may be in problem yourself. You might have come without a wish and got trapped in this body. So you, if you open to me and speak to me, I can help you. I don't want to harm you. Will you please tell me your name?
Please tell me your name. You don't have to scare of me. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm not here to throw you out. I'm not to disturb you. My name is Atosha. You can tell me your name to address you by so that we can be friends. Would you please tell me your name? Would you please tell me your name? Is that your name? Swarasana. Swarasana is the person this body belongs to. You are not Swarasana. What's your name? What's your name? Please don't be scared in your name. What's your real name? What's your real name? Please take charge of Swarasana's body and tell me your name. Tell me your name, you can trust me. Take charge of Swarasana's body and speak to me. What's your real name? Don't hide behind Swasti's name. Tell me your name. Tell me your name, who you are. Yaksha. Okay, Yaksha. Are you aware that you are dead, Yaksha? Do you know that you are dead? Yaksha, I am Santosh Sharma. I am here to help. I want to help you. Okay? So don't be scared of me. So Yaksha, do you know that you are dead? Or you don't know? You cannot die. Okay? What happened last birth? You committed suicide? Did you see your body last time? And you still think that you are not dead? You don't know? And do you, are you aware that you are in the another body now? In Swastin's body? Are you aware? Yaksha? You are aware that you are staying in Swastin's body? And since how long you are staying in her body? Since how many years you are in Swarasana's body? Yes. Since how many years you are staying in Swarasana's body? Do you hear me, Aksha? Will you please tell me, since how many years you are staying in her body? Are you aware that you are staying in her body and how many years you are staying? You don't know? You don't remember? Okay, and how did you get there? How did you come to her body? How did you come to Suhasana's body? Yaksha, do you hear me? Since how many years you are staying in Swastin's body, Yaksha? From childhood. Oh. And how do you get into the body?
Say again? Yeah, with her only. Okay. And you don't know that you died. The last birth. And Yaksha, do you have any pain and sadness in you? Hmm? What the pain? Say again. Hello, you feel lonely. Do you feel bad that you committed suicide? You didn't die. You don't know that you died. Do you know extra that being in Swanson's body, you're creating a lot of trouble for her? She has been getting bad dreams, scary dreams. She is getting patches on the skin many times whenever any married proposal comes. So why are you doing all this to her? Taksha? Why are you doing this to Swansane? You don't want to get her married? Say again. Say again. Aksha. You? You are saving her. You see that's not going to happen. Something will bad to happen to her. You are trying to save her. Oh. Okay. But staying in somebody's body and traumatizing her body, do you think it's appropriate? Do you think it's appropriate? Yes. By Mother Singh Swansani, what are you getting? Yaksha? What are you achieving by Mother Singh Swansani? Do you need to talk to her? Don't you think you should come first to her, sir? I leave her. You see, Yaksha, there is, I can tell you, there is a very appropriate space in the universe where it will be completely peaceful, blissful. And I can guide you there. You want to leave Sunasana and you want to go to a very very peaceful place in the universe and help you. Help you. So it's not appropriate to leave her body 
and go to a peaceful place and help to do that. Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen if you get that. Do you think if she gets married, something will happen, she will die? You have that feeling. What will happen? Anybody will do something to her? What will happen? Can you explain to me? What will happen, Lancha? What will happen? to the God mode. To God. Don't be so obsessed with the body. So as this body. You see, if you want to go to a safe and peaceful place, I can help you. Yes, you see, I am, yeah, I can help you. I can help you. You have trust me. for you. You see? It will be good for you because you are staying in her body, Swasa is body, you are not happy, Swasa is not happy, she is getting a lot of dreams, she is not able to sleep also, she is scared. You see? I want to help her. If you want to go, I will take you to a nice peaceful place and send you there. That's nice. Good. Now I'll take you to this Yaksha Fear me. I'll take you to a beautiful place. So for that I need to take you back in time to the last life you had on this earth. Yaksha, just before you died. So now as a count back from 3 to 0, each count, you will travel, travel back in time to the last life that you had on this earth just before your death. 3, 2, 1 and 0. Now where are you? Yaksha? Where are you Yaksha? Where? Again. Here. Here. Now I want you to go back in time to a past life. Just before your death. I'm taking you back to a past life. Just before your death. Three, two, one, zero. And back. And back. down and bolt it down. Now where are you reach now? Go to the past life. 3, 2, 1, 0. Go to past life. Follow now. How do you now? Yaksha? Yaksha? In the past life, what is the age? Take you forward to the lifetime, the last day of your life, last day of your life, Yaksha, in that lifetime on this earth. How old are you now? Last day. Last day of your life. How old are you? Say again. 19. Would you told you 35? 
last day of her life. Nineteen. Okay. Now you are out of the body. Out, out, and out. Now look down your body. Is this enough, babe? Tell me. The spirit has left your body, and you are able to look down upon your body. One, two, and three. Out, out. You can clearly describe me what is happening. You are sitting down, and what are you feeling? One, two, and three. And Tell me, Akshar. Say again. You're not dead. Okay. Now, as you count from one to three, the spirit, the body, it has left the body, and now you'll be able to look down on your body and describe what you see. One, two, and three. Now, what do you see? Can you look down on your body now? Now, describe me what I was saying. The body is lying down, sleeping. You can see the body. You can see the body. What do you feel? What do you feel? The body is sleeping. You are out of the body. Your spirit is up, hovering, looking down at the body. Looking at the down of the body, how do you feel? Do you know that you are dead? Yaksha? Am I talking to Yaksha? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Go, please. Go, please. Please. The supper smile will stay back. As far as this supper smile will stay back. Count of ten, the yaksha takes over the body of Swarthani. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And yaksha, you have taken you back to your last life, 19 years old. And you are writing a letter to your mother. Last day of your life. You are coming to the Now I am taking you to the last moment. Just before the death. What's that mean? What's that mean? Tell me. You're crying. How are you coming suicide? Are you doing something? Any poison? And you sleep or sleep with the poison. Okay, now one, two, and three, your spirit is out of the body and you can look down upon now. What do you see? What do you see now? What do you see? The body is lying down and you are out of the body. You must know that you are dead. You must know that you are dead. Know that you are dead. You are out of the body. You are out of the body. You are dead. You are dead now and look up. Wherever you are, just look up and you will see a beautiful light. This light where there is no pain, no grief and no emotion. It's a very soothing, very healing, very loving light. Bath in this light, Yaksha. Now, are you completely at peace now? Do you feel at peace? Now, look at yourself and you will see the light of your own soul. Look at yourself and you can see the light of your own soul and not when you find it. Look at yourself, you can see the light of your soul and you can do that, just not your head. If you are able to see the light of your soul, not your head, look into yourself. Look into yourself. Now ask this light, why did this trauma happen? Why did this suicide happen?
ask this light why did this suicide happen why yaksha and yaksha said tell me why is it yaksha said ask us i tell you what happened what happened <laughs> Can you feel this light? Look into yourself. You can feel the light also. Ask the light to tell you what happened and what wisdom you got. What did you learn? Why you actually committed suicide? What was the purpose, and what was the lesson to be learned? Ask the light to tell you why this incident happened, and what was the lesson to be learned? What wisdom you got? What was the lesson learned? Only pain to no pain. What is pain? Why you actually committed suicide? Why you actually committed suicide? Any reasons found out? Yes or no? Any reasons find out? Reasons not known. Lesson learned is pain. Now please return all the energies of Swamis Nahi, Yaksha. Yaksha, can you hear me? Do you hear me? Yaksha, please return all the energies of Swamis Nahi back to Swamis Nahi. And in turn, take back all your residual energies which are left behind in Swamis Nahi. Is the energy exchange complete? Now, Yaksha, somebody will come and escort you from here. Either a divine energy or a loving soul or an ancestress will come and take you to where it is most appropriate for the consciousness to be right now. When somebody comes, just nod your head and let me know. Somebody will come and escort you from here. Either a divine energy or a loving soul, or ancestors will come and take you to where it is most appropriate for consciousness to be right now. When somebody comes to you, just on your head. See a light coming to you, trick your reaction. Just look up. Just look up. Close eyes. Close eyes. Close eyes. Close eyes. Close eyes. Close eyes. 
spreads out of your body and moves into your auric space all around you. This light now forms a ball all around you. Just crystallize the edges of this ball with your hands. This ball. So as a name. This is now your shield against negativity. And it will keep out all negative thoughts and ideas. Deflected them back to the ocean, letting only positive thoughts and ideas flow into you. Mm-hmm. 
Let all the sins go from mind and return into your physical body with all appropriate aid and this will awareness. Keep relaxing with each other and through mind when you absolutely come. Let all the sins go from the mind. And return into your physical body with all the appropriate aid and this will awareness. Keep relaxing with each other and through your mind when you absolutely come. Keep relaxing. Let all the sins go from mind. Let all the sins go from mind. Let all the sins go from mind. And you return into your physical body. With all the appropriate heat energies and happiness, keep relaxing. Keep relaxing with each other breath. The mind becoming absolutely In a few moments now, Swazini, I am going to count you up from 1 to 5. Five, you will be fully awake, feel very good about yourself. But first we start with zero. But there is a tendency to go deeper with zero. So each and every time you are at zero. And I use the words deep sleep. To you for the purpose of hypnosis. You will quickly, calmly and deeply go to this level or even deeper. The physical body will relax and the mind will be completely calm. So start coming up with one. Feeling fine, fresh and relaxed. Coming up with heart two. With all the bodies and personalities of Swarasmi integrated with the physical body. Further up with three. With no pain or discomfort whatsoever. I have with four, feeling fully integrated and eyes open, wide awake, five, one, two, three, four, five, eyes open, wide awake, eyes open, wide awake. Imagine, feeling, okay? 
and continue doing this for 21 days. 21 days without fail. You can continue doing that after that also is good for you. It will keep you in good spirit, good health and it will always save you from negative energies that to your body. See a smile on your face. You're looking good, beautiful. Thank you. Huh? Nice. You want to hold it water? I'll give you.